your tarot life coach bringing you your March tarot scope, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, some damn dirty shoulder rubs, smack on the booty, hitting up twice, one, two, three, maybe even fourth one just to make sure I like it, and a big kiss on your cheek. My fellow Leos, how are you guys doing? And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I hope you guys are having a great, great month so far. Today is officially the fourth. It is um, 1256 a.m. and we are about to jump into our read and see what the energies have for us. But before we get into that, let's talk about what's been going on. On the first, we had the full moon in Virgo, all about detoxing, getting rid of the old and bringing in the new, okay? If you're interested on those energies, hit up my video. It's good for another two weeks, the energy is. And also, Jupiter is in retrograde until July. It's in our eighth house, which is a sign of Scorpio. So just know that Jupiter is expansion, it's good luck, it's good juju, okay? On the 22nd, Mercury is in retrograde all the way to April 15th, bringing back all those old damn dirty lovers and our admirers. Yes, I said it. Ha ha ha. And on the 17th, new moon in Pisces, great time to start new things. The 21st, we're moving in with our sister sign with Aries, bringing in spring. And on the 31st, we have a full moon in Libra. That is a lot going on. Now, let's jump into the energy that's coming in for us this month. Well, we have a nice presentation of the parrots, okay? I know it says tropical bird on it, but it is the parrots to me, okay? <laughs> and parrots are represented by the sun and the tarot, and they're great teachers. They're about understanding, and they're about having fun, and they also assist in soulmate searching, okay? They're great for group situations. They have strong psychic abilities and they help you find true love because most parents mate for life, all right? Now, with that being said, when it's swooped across your path, it's asking you to stay alert. There's new things, new horizons. Pay attention to the signs and the omens that are around you. At pay attention to your dreams. The things you thought that were unattainable may be now up for the taking. Remember, Jupiter is blessing you right now. Perhaps your self-talk has been more negative. It needs to be more positive. So changing that self-talk, changing, changing the way that you're speaking to the universe because your words carry clout right now. This is the use of language, of prophecy, the power of magic, and you are full of magic. You are the high priestess and the wizard. Can't nobody mess with you, Leo. This is deja vu. You're going to be having moments this month where you're like, this already happened. I don't know what's going on, but I think I've already done this before. I thought I had my damn um, timer on. Shit. Okay. Now, this is also about the renewal of dreams and visions. Thinking before you speak. Okay, Leo? That's something I need to do, and I, I need to work on that. Also, color and light therapy are really good for you this month. And um, mentally, you have the high priestess coming in. And she is looking hot diggity damn good over there, isn't she? Oh, hot self. Now, you are being shown, like where you should be in your career, what you're thinking about relationship-wise. You have really, really big dreams right now. And it's really important that you pay attention to sacred signs, dreams, and intu intuitions right now as they're more accurate than they've ever been. This is also telling you, like, this is an indication, like if really crazy stuff has been happening right now, provided you feel good in your heart, just go with it, okay? It's the divine has got you, like you have the upper hand at this moment, okay? Physically, it's manifestation. This is the wizard, and he has his big old st his uh, wand up there, and it's illuminating the way. So this is what I kind of feel. I kind of feel like you're walking into your element. This is you shining bright like the sun. This is you putting yourself out there. If you haven't met anyone, I think you are going to because they're coming to you with open arms, and you're going to them with open arms. That's what it looks like for me for manifestation. Your words that you're speaking are going to manifest manifest this month. Speak good things into existence, okay? This is the law of attraction, the law of manifestation. Get what you want by putting it out there. Now, spiritually, you have observer. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. But I kind of feel like he's looking at the light. He's looking at illumination because he's looking at the moon, but he's looking from a distance. 
So I think spiritually, like on a soul level, you might got your eye on somebody, okay? You might think you know who they are, what's going on. However, you need to pull back and you need to make sure that that's what it is. Because sometimes your feelings can get all blah, 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 okay? Because you got some stuff from your past you got to deal with. And you got to make sure that they're not affecting each other. If you're in a relationship, this is where it's going to be a test of your faith. Are you going to come together? Are you going to take the higher ground? Are you going to see things from their point of view and if it, in work and career it's a great time to pull back kind of look at your your um, projects from a different perspective and um, let miracles happen okay don't interfere so much and it's 49 so that turns into a 13 which turns into a 4 you are laying the foundation okay now Wolverine is coming in <sighs> And I was like, Wolverine, that's like a really odd thing to come out to kind of explain what we need to be doing spiritually. And it says you're a lot tougher than you think you are. Well, hell yeah, we're Leos. Of course we're tougher. Tougher. And it wants you to call upon your warrior side, the take charge, the archetype. It's time to defend the kingdom, baby. You're the queen. You're the king. People need to respect your boundaries. But you got to respect your boundaries, too. You got to know when to say no. Okay, boundaries, emotional boundaries, physical boundaries. It is time for you to implement them. Okay, this is persistence, this is resourcefulness, and this is survival. But this is maintaining balance. Now, you see how he's walking away from everything. I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a situation this month, and you're really going to have to watch what you say because parents talk a lot. Okay, watch who you say it around and watch how you say it because that's what the energy you're going to manifest. Okay, Whew. now let's jump into your read. Let's bless our card. Saints, the tell us this card shows the energy that you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of March. Mm. All right, I'm cutting the deck. Now I have pre shuffle, but we're going to shuffle together. So I have the Nine of Cups with the seven of wands okay i'm gonna tell you what i'm getting immediately i said something about soulmates with the birds right i kind of feel like some of y'all have been wishing hoping and praying and some of y'all might be hooking up with a scorpio okay just because of the scorpio energy right here in the back now i got a lot of water energy this is contentment this is wishes do come true but you see her walking towards like she's walking towards it. She's walking towards her wishes and her dreams and she's going with courage. She's also being vulnerable and she's being open to receiving. Okay. Then you see the person on the bed. I kind of feel like that's like a dream. Follow your dreams, write your dreams, keep them in a journal, whatever you got to do, because it's going to be very important as you navigate this month. I keep rolling fives for you guys, for us. So our life is probably about to really change. If you're not in a relationship, you are calling in a very important relationship, okay? Oh, let's see what we got here. First position, we got an angel. Ten of cups. Her I'm about to say hermit. Hermit. <laughs> Ten of wands reversed. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Overall energy is the Seven of Cups reversed. Okay, that's, a, that's the best way to have the Seven of Cups. So let's pull this in here. So we have the Carib of Cups. It's bringing in manifestation of love. It's clearing things out. It's making sure everything is good. And this is like ego-headed spirit, okay? Now, he's got a pine cone there because he's cleaning the pineal gland. This is really good energy. This is clarity. You have clarity on a situation about love, family, that kind of thing. And you're going to be blessed as you travel because you have the 10 and that 9 right next to each other. Also, if you're applying for a job, Leo, pat pat on the back, baby, because you're looking really, really good, all right? So I kind of want to see what wants to clarify Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, the tarot wants to clarify. What is our Kara bringing in for us? Uh, he's got some sexy calves. That's what for sure he's bringing in. Okay, I rolled a two, so this is probably in love or in partnership, okay? Oh, hell, it's us reverse. Well, damn dirty. 
and it's the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this is either you as a fire sign, okay, and you're being blessed by your angel. He's trying to fix us up, trying to get our shit together, okay? Sometimes we kind of fall off. Or this is you not wanting to share your emotions and feelings because you don't want to get hurt. Now, it's 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 in your best interest, and I'm going to tell you, look, look, I'm not lying. We have the lovers, right? Then we have the king of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, then the magician, and then the wheel. I kind of feel like you are in full, utter control about this decision. If you are with the Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, congratulations, you are going to be having a nice, nice spring break. <laughs> Other than that, um, you need to get your shit together, Leo, okay? Get it together and stop trying to turn your back on what could be the best thing that ever happened to you, okay? I'm going to clarify what we can do to flip turn ourselves the right way. Do not let your jealousy get the best of you, okay? So take time to recuperate rather than continuing your striving. Some of y'all might be working too much. Some of y'all might be trying too hard. But goose energy, <laughs> I'm going to say check yourself too, Leo. Don't be a cheater this month now. Goose energy is usually dealing with somebody who is less loyal than the other person, Lucy Goosey. Um, so I think you need to check your actions, Leo, if it's you, or you need to check their actions if it's them, okay? Now, in the present, we have the Ten of Cups, there's success. So I kind of feel like you've called some people out on some stuff, whether it's a partnership or relationship, whatever it is, and you're moving forth. There is success, there is happiness, and more than likely you're going on a trip, okay? I do want to clarify a little bit more in the present, not from there. Mm, I don't want to use that deck. Ah, right. Let's see what's going on with this Ten of Cups. Hmm. Some of y'all are about to get a promotion. You're just in the right place at the right time, okay? You got a new attitude, all right? Or you got a new Toyota, because this looks like, I love what you do for me, Toyota. You are just going to be at the right time, at the right place, because damn dirty, you're just so great. All right, Leo? <laughs> but I really need you to focus on why you're getting there. Because I said if you're looking for a job, you're going to get it, right? Because of those two tens. But what, are you, what is really pushing you there? Because four and eight is 12 and that's a three, so this is excitement. This is you being excited and moving to the next level. Some of y'all are getting accepted to the university that you chose to, or you're getting a promotion, okay? Now, we're moving into the hidden influence and that is the hermit card. For me, this is spiritual enlightenment. This is like you kind of going into yourself and saying, what do I really want? How do I really want to do this? Huh? Good question, you know, and then we're right here. We're going to travel again. Some of y'all, this is going to be a month full of little travels, like going and coming really, really quickly. And for others, these are going to be like some real long distance trips because I got a 10 and a 9 and then a 9 and a 10. So I kind of feel like it's going to be a back-to-back -back trip and you're going to be super, super excited to go. Now, the hermit is telling you, this is the hidden influence. In order to be promoted or in order to get to that next level, you may need a certification. You may need to go get a license. You need something. The hermit is higher learning for me. You see how he's looking all studious behind them closed doors? Yes, he is ready to take you to the next level. Now, the advice is Pazuzu. This is my boo right here. I love Pazuzu. He's also representative of Leo, okay, to the sign of Leo. This is the Ten of Wands. This is you drawing. Dropping it all and saying, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to carry this burden by myself anymore. And I'm going to go for it. And that is the advice is to go for it. Go after your dreams. And your dreams are highly, like, what is it? Like, informative this month. So really pay attention to them. Let's see what does he want us to do. Okay. So I'm going to clarify Pazuzu real quick because it's the advice. Oh, spider energy. Trust the creative spark you're feeling and express it through writing stories to inspire and enlighten. Whatever you're working on, Leo, right now, it is going to be successful, especially in the form of like arts. Um, I just feel like you're getting promoted. You're being moved to the next level. Eight is a sign of movement and growth. It's also the sign of infinity. The, the possibilities are infinite infinite okay you have eight legs to take you where you need to go eight is just about communication make sure that you're communicating effectively remember we had the parrot 
Now, the possible outcome is this ace of disc reversed. So it's almost like, eee, we almost had it. We were about to do it, and then something comes in and happens. So let's see what that's about. I'm gonna use the tarot. Some of y'all might be dealing with the sign of Virgo. Some of y'all might be dealing with water signs. I'm getting water and earth. But check your attitude, Leo, because you're not doing really well at the beginning. <laughs> what happens? So upset. Hmm. Doesn't want to show me. There we go. All right, this Ace of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles reversed. So this is telling me you're going to get out of a financial bind for sure. And more than likely, bum ba da dum the King of Cups is coming through for you. And this is somebody who's going to put your needs before their needs. Now, so I kind of see like there's like a splitting of finances. I don't see a breakup or anything like that, but what I do see is kind of like you looking at your money and seeing how you can be more creative with it, even if it is putting it in the bank or something like that, but it's about finances. Finances are going to improve for you. This is you celebrating. Maybe you get your taxes back. I don't know. Something's going to manifest and you're going to be all right, Leo, in love and in money. Now, your overall energy is the seven of cups reverse. I'm going to tell you, stop wasting energy stop wasting money stop wasting your thoughts and your words on things that aren't worth it because look at them damn dirty cups over there you don't need those cups you don't need all of that attention you just need attention from the right ones okay that's what you're looking for and you might be having like a lot of offers coming at you because you're so hot and sexy i'm just saying i'm just saying okay but this is about looking at quality quantity Quality over quantity. This is you really weighing your options because you don't want to be loosey-goosey. You want to be spiderific, okay? You want to have your spidey senses on point. You want to be creative, okay? Now, that is your read. And I have one more card for you. Where did it go? Okay, to tie up your read, compassion came out. I find this really interesting. This is Kuan Yin. She is the bringer of children. She's the bringer of love, the bringer of divine connection. And she's sitting on top of the lotus flower. And this is what I'm kind of getting. It's kind of been a shitty situation for you, all right? And out of that crappy situation, the lotus flower blossoms, okay? No matter where you're planted, Leo, you will excel. But you need to talk with compassion. You need to move forward with compassion. And you need to think before you speak because she's sitting there very calmly and she's waiting for the right person, the right thing. And then I kind of just love all the colors of the rainbow all around her. She's emitting positive energy. All right, Leo. Now, your guidance from Don Miguel Reese is to be impeccable with your word. Remember, you are the parrot. Express your love. Some of y'all uh, or some of us are dealing with fighting the desire to be honest about wanting to change your ways. Um, maybe you were dating other people and now you've zoned in on one and you want to like make a baby. <laughs> I don't know why I'm picking up baby energy because of the spider and Kuan Yin. However, there is a change of energy around mid month, but you have to be willing to walk into it and do the work. Now, impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. So, in order for you to get the love that you want, you need to first love yourself. Ah, so easy to say, but so hard to do, right? So, start each day with affirmations, maybe noticing things that you like about yourself, complimenting yourself, watch that self-talk that's going on. Once again, it's gonna go back to your words. Remember, we have the parent, and whatever our words say, we can manifest. But we've got to remember, check this, we're a lot stronger than what we think we are. You've been through worse, Leo, and you've made it through. Now you're gonna make it through this, and it's gonna come out. I feel like um, there was some like curve balls thrown at you, and you like duck and dodged all of them, and you're about to pick up those balls and throw them right back at them because you got this, 
all right so leo you might have someone coming in from the past however watch from a distance make your decision manifest what you want and watch the words that you say this month all righty big big hugs leo be blessed and hit me up at ariana luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at ariana luciano be blessed family